Hey guys, I am so excited. We're back. We're back for the preschool message. We are three weeks into February and we're learning all about how much Jesus loves everyone. Think of somebody, anybody right now, your mom, dad, friend, teacher. Jesus loves them. He loves you too, and he loves me, and he loves everyone. And he has so much love for everybody. So anyone you meet, just know that Jesus loves them. Let's go over our memory verse for the month. Do you remember it yet? Do you remember all the actions? Okay, get up out of your seats, stand up. Okay, and as loud as you can, so everybody in the neighborhood can hear you, let's do the memory verse. Do everything in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Did you do it? Do you want to do it again? Okay, one more time. Do everything in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Great job, guys. Now we can get even louder. Go find something that makes so much noise in your house. And let's get ready for praise and worship. I should have like. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hands. Sing it, kids. Are you ready for a true story from the Bible? I'm so excited to tell you about this story. It's about a man named Zacchaeus. Can you say Zacchaeus? I know it's a little hard. Let's try again. Zacchaeus. Yeah, Zacchaeus was a tax collector. That means he would take money from people to pay their taxes. But guess what he used to do? He would take more money than he was supposed to and keep it for himself. Mm, mm, mm. That's not very nice at all, is it? That's not what he was supposed to do. And because he kept doing it, people were really mad at Zacchaeus because he wasn't doing the right things. I bet he got put in time out a lot when he was little. Do you think he got put in time out? Well, one day, Jesus was coming to town, and Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus. But Zacchaeus, he was short, and all the people around him were really tall. Do you guys know how hard it is to see when there's tall people around you? What do you do? Do you get on your tippy toes, and try to look, look, look. Well, Zacchaeus, he tried to see and he couldn't. What else could you do besides getting on your tippy toes? Could you jump? Let's jump on the count of three. One, two, three. Jump. Do you think he could see over everybody's head? 
No, he still was too short to see. What else could he do? I know what he did. In the Bible, it said that Zacchaeus climbed up a tree. Can you guys climb with me? Let's climb. We're going to climb up a tree. He climbed all the way up the tree so he could see when Jesus was coming. Are you guys still climbing? You're doing an excellent job. Okay, now, once he got up there, he saw Jesus coming, and he was looking, and he was super excited to see Jesus. Guess what happened when Jesus saw Zacchaeus up in the tree? He told Zacchaeus to come out of that tree because he wanted to go and have dinner with him. (gasps) Can you believe it? Jesus wanted to have dinner with Zacchaeus. But guess what? Some people were upset because they said, Zacchaeus isn't a nice man. He's been doing things wrong. Why would Jesus want to have dinner with Zacchaeus? Why would Jesus want to do that? You know why? Because Jesus loves everyone, even when they mess up. Do you ever mess up? I mess up sometimes, and you know what? Jesus still loves me, and Jesus still loved Zacchaeus too. And Jesus loved him so much that Zacchaeus said, you know what? I need to do better. I don't want to take people's money more than what I'm supposed to. And he gave back the money that he took that was too much. All that extra, extra money he took, he gave it back to the people. Because he knew that's what Jesus wanted him to do. And Jesus still loved him, even though he made some bad choices. So I'm thinking, even when I make bad choices, Jesus still loves me, right? What about you? Do you think that Jesus still loves you if you make bad choices? Like even if you have to get put in time out? Guess what? He still loves you. He loves us and he loves everything everyone. So we need to remember that even when we mess up, Jesus still loves us. Can you remember that? I bet you can. Can you remember how we're supposed to pray? I bet you do. Here, let's pray. One hand up, the other hand up, put it together and bring it on down. Good job. Now let's close our eyes and pray. Dear God, Thank you so much for sending Jesus and loving us so much. Thank you for loving us even when we mess up and do bad things. Thank you for loving us through that. Thank you for helping us to make good and wise decisions. But overall, thank you for loving us so much. In Jesus' name, amen. That was so good. You did an excellent job. I can't wait to see you later. I had so much fun today. The story was so good. I loved hearing about how much Jesus loves Zacchaeus. So any type of person, no matter what they've done, who they are, Jesus loves them. And that's so much comfort. So you should know, no matter what you do, where you go, who you are, what you look like, I mean, no matter what, Jesus loves you. So if you want to keep up with us, have your parent subscribe to this channel, our OCC Next Gen channel, and then also join our parent Facebook group so they can keep up with us. We'll see you later.